It's not loot. You can really... Oh, I don't know how to do this in special effects anyway. I do know how to make one of these though. You can make one as well. It's easy. I say forever, but the battery will run out at some point and the universe will end, so... A long time. So take your fan or your motor, um, whatever, goes round and round and round. You're going to hook that up to a power source. Um, if you're using a battery, you get the red wire going to the little one, and the black wire goes to the big terminal on the battery. And just check that that works. You can stick your finger, no, don't stick your finger in it, that's a bad idea. Now get some blue tack, stick that to the side that turns, make sure it's the side that turns. Um, stick a coin in there, that will create a little gap. That makes that makes sure that the um, the CD or whatever you put in there doesn't rub off the the casing. So spin it round a little bit and just make sure that you don't hear any scraping noises, because if you do, it'll cause a lot of vibration and um, it'll just sound horrible. Okay, your magnets should actually just stick on to the motor itself, so they won't require any blue tack. Um, and with the gap there, it should be such that they they don't stop the motor but they are magnetic enough that they will just stick onto it. So give it a good spin there, make sure it's even. Just squeeze it. The nice thing about using blue tack is you can adjust it real quickly rather than glue. Just test that it works. It'll vibrate like crazy, you'll find, in the desk. So all they do is uh, you solve that problem with some blue tack. I'm just sticking inside something that I can move it around with, but you can put it on the on the table if you want to. Now the plastic needs to come over, that'll stop if in case those magnets fly off and hit you in the face, that plastic will protect you. It's also so the coin can spit on top of the plastic. You'll need sometimes another bit of metal or magnet just to get the motor going. Sometimes when you connect with the power it just refuses to start until it gets a nudge. So you should for now. We need to spin the coin on it. Now, though the problem is the gap is so important, it needs to be just right. So that will take some patience and adjusting. You want it so close that um, it will spin the coin, but uh, not too far away because otherwise there won't be enough magnetic force. So I, I give it a good, good squeeze there, and now it's a bit closer. And now there we go, and it works. Then you can spend the rest of your day just shooking random metal stuff onto the, the magnetic motor, just to see what happens.